I'm in, Linda, Billie Jean's our daughter. She's 14 years old. Um, she's got a um, rare deletion, she's chromosome 18, and she's also Pitokin, so she's got the TCF4 gene missing all the way down. Um, we didn't find out until um, she was eight. eight years old that she um, had the TCF4 gene um, missing. When, when we went to um, find out, they called it a walking, talking gene, um, which was uh, devastating news, as you can imagine. She won't walk and talk. Um, but you know what? You just you just get on with it, get on with life, and you know we, we see Billie Jean as she is, as she was, as people see their children as they are. We just see Billie Jean as she is now. We don't see the disability. Um, we don't think there is such thing. As a disability, as some people say, um, that child or that person is not normal. I look at a person and say, who is normal? Because is somebody is somebody normal because they're too fat? Is somebody normal because they're too thin? Is somebody normal because they're too ugly? Is somebody normal because they're too good looking? I don't believe there's such a thing as normal. It's it's what you individual yeah you you look at you look at a person and see a person, you don't see, we don't see a disability, we just see a person where that person's too tall, too small, too big, too narrow, it's a person. And that's what we see now um, from, from a day-to-day -day basis of everyone. When Lily Jean, um, she started hyperventilating, so she was going blue and she was holding up, but she was not breathing. Mm. Well, until then we knew we'd got a deletion on chromosome 18, but we didn't know what the TCF4 gene was because they'd only just, at that point, they don't, when we she started doing this, they'd only just found it, located it. So up until that point, we'd done the physiotherapy, occupational therapy. Um, she'd had extra physio at home because we were, one of the things we wanted her to be able to do was to be able to sit when I did. Um, she's had speech and language therapy, um, and to be honest, that, that we've got to a point now. Now she's fourteen. That we've that we've got as far as we're going to go. Now we're looking at positioning, keeping her correctly positioned because she's got scoliosis of the spine. But a lot, a lot of Billie Jean's problems are. Are not they're not caused solely by the TCF4 gene. A lot of it's caused by the rest of the deletion of chromosome 18. Billie really, Jean has the from the uh, end of the TCF4, where the TCF4 all the way down. Right so she, the she's got nothing. So the TCF4 lots, lots of data missing. Yeah. Yeah. It's all it's not not there at all. The, the unfortunate um, thing is the children with with chromosome 18 deletion who have got the TCF4 gene walk. And the children with the TCF4 gene mutated or deleted and everything else intact, the majority of them walk, but we got the double whammy. <laughs> Notice a lot of things um, we've seen a lot of people is that um, it's fairly strange that Billie Jean has um, one cold foot and one warm foot. Um, and also, um, some kids have one single line in the palm of the hand. Oh. And the, these kids have maybe got mo more chromosomes than Billie Jean. And Billie Jean has all, all a hand. She don't just oh, have, yeah, have one, like, one like crease. Yours or mine. She has all, all of them there. <laughs> and the other thing is that the hearing, and some of the kids that's got more chromosomes than Billie Jean um, lose the hearing. Yeah, and Billie Jean hasn't. Um, so it just seems that. Very complex. We've yeah. Working out how this works is Some of the chromosomes, it seems to work, in my opinion, but if, if it's not there, it kind of, I think you have to have some missing for the other one that so called don't work to kick in and it bounces off it. So, this uh, looking and studying other kids, not really studying, we're just looking at mm. them and just seeing how things work. Um, it just proves that something is bouncing somewhere. But I think if he did a study on them all, I 
think you get a, like an idea of um, they're all different. But what connects it together? The one thing though with, with the Pitt Hopkins children, they're, facially they're very similar. You mm -hmm. can normally spot a Pitt Hopkins child in, when they come in the room. Mm -hmm. uh, over this weekend we've had a big mixture of children, but you can pick the Pitt Hopkins children out of all of them. They're all very nice natured, quite happy children. This is what this, this group is about, getting all those people together from across the world and trying to make get a bigger voice behind us to get people to support us and help yeah. us and, and researchers. And not just that, it's a good idea as well to to have all these kids and say, you know, we've, we've learned more from parents than we have from any doctor. Yeah. Talking to a parent, we've learned more from yeah. that than anything. Medi else. Medication, you, you come to a conference, you meet other people and they'll say, oh my child suffers with it. Oh, How have you tried such and such a medication? And we've, we've learned more from other people than with any doctors. Billie Jean. And that's what all. we're here for. We Now, in terms of, of learning about our children, she's 14 now, there's not really a lot anyone could tell us now. Mm -hmm. But we could, we keep coming back to give to other people. Billie to Jean back had, to the, um, the, to the worst things what she had was uh, constipation, which we now um, are on top of uh, by medication. The medication, even the paediatricians didn't know about. We told the paediatricians about it, the medication that she needs or she could do. This has come back from different parents and what they've done, they, they've had medication off different paediatricians and we put it all together and, th and, and come up with a better solution. Um, Billie Jean also was going blue, showed in the breath of 100, 100 times a day. Five years ago she'd have been, she'd have blued throughout all of this. She did, she, she did she'd have tried to ventilate she um, she <laughs> and stop breathing held, held for a breath. A and long if you while. can look at your child and see them going blue a hundred times a day. And Sue, Sue times a day. mentioned a medication that might help and it has done. Yeah, so we, again it's a, come from a support group, not from a doctor. We, and luckily the, the We got on some medication. Like what's the medication called? Cetazolamide. Cetazolamide. We got on there and this stopped all the blue in. And you know what? That is like a miracle. It's you know, a glaucoma it's treatment right. that is Amazing. used is used for, as well for people with altitude sickness, and it raises the I don't know, it's the blue or red blood cells and <laughs> so it prevents it from holding a breath dangerously low. Yeah. We've tried it; it's not worked with all, all the children, unfortunately. Yeah. But it's it's really improved. She still she can still do it, but she can't. She can't get down to the levels yeah. that she used to have. We've had, also we've had a crash team in the hospital and called for her, and we, we were sat quite happily. She's fine, she's fine. Because she just gets used to seeing it 100 times a day for yeah. a few years. It's, you just look used whenever, you just whenever we went to an appointment and they wanted to take us out, she could guarantee she'd be at 55, and they'd be like, oh! Quick, quick, this is mm. dangerously low. Like, no, this is good. She would yeah. get lower than that. Yeah. Um, but she, she's, she's happy. She do that now. Uh, we try to do as our best whatever we can. So we, what we do with Billie Jean as a family, we work around there. So she can't go anywhere with a chair and etc. We don't go. End of. Um, and some people say, oh, you need to do this. You need to do that. But this is our choice. She is the centre of you know, the we, we, where we're concerned. We are role of our, our life around Billie Jean. Um, so if there's something that she needs, she gets it before any other ones does. <laughs> um, and that's that's just the way that we are as a, as a family. We look after her like um, we're looking after ourselves, but she comes first all the time. It can um, be a shock when people get you know, a, a diagnosis. And of course then they look at the internet and they see the medical side, the medical reports, and she might not walk, she might not and it can be very very scary but we've taken each day as it's come we've, we've enjoyed it for what she can give yeah. and she can be very she's she's not the best at eye contact but you catch her giving you eye contact she can, she's got a cheeky side to her mm -hmm. as they all have and we just learn to, uh, to embrace her for who she is and enjoy life as best as we can. You, you get to know the child, what she likes and what they don't like, because they just give you little bits back. And you, you just, what you need to do is just, just look at your child, and you know if she's happy or sad. Like at the minute she's listening to some music, and 
it's, it needs changing. So I'll just show you, I'll just put the iPad on and just show you what we get. So you'll be able to see the facial features. What normally happens with Billie Jean, she'll actually repeat as well. What happens with Billie, with Billie Jean, when she's happy, she'll automatically go from that to her head will come up, she'll start smiling, and normally her tongue will start twitching, and then her, shot, then her arms will come up, and if she's really happy, she knee knocks. And at that point, you know, she's really happy. But I'll just, just show you what I mean if I, if I just take this off for a second, and we put her iPad on. Um, she likes TV. You see, she, her facial expression just changed. She started to smile a little bit, see. Um, and you'll see her tongue start to come out and her arms will start to go. All these little things do help. So I'm just going to put Mickey Mouse on. And we'll put her headphones in. Billie Jean has her own little world. She, she likes to have a, her own little bubble. Mm -hmm. um, which, again, is, is good sometimes, not always good, but if that's what she wants and that's how she chooses to be, then some, some, some people that... She'd happily be a hermit, not Yeah, I mean, some, some people, um, you know, we're all, we're all different, we all have different things, so um, sometimes it's best to go with, with what she wants and what makes her happy rather than what you think makes her happy what, what you want right. it's sometimes best to watch them and see what they want right. so she starts to smile yeah. yeah she knows I'm going to put her headphones on She's had a music on quite a while, so we're not going to get that. So no, normally it's when she enters yeah, music on for, for nothing. For a, she, nothing. Gets really she gets really excited about having a, what she wants on. When we've, when we've made a board for a while, then yeah. she gets really excited. Mm -hmm. She's had her own music before that. But she's definitely more happy about watching the TV than listening to the music. Mm. But I think you, you need to watch your child and see what works for them mm -hmm. and what works for Billie Jean is the music and the TV programmes that she likes watching which is Bay in the Big Blue House, Barney the Purple Dinosaur, um, Mickey Mouse and she really likes them. I mean I just put Barney. But I think you, you just need to watch what they do, what reactions you mm -hmm. get from different things and um, from that it's almost communication saying this is what I like and this is what I don't like. 